the Eagles actually do the unthinkable and let him go before week one of the season? If you had to choose one Eagles starter, offense or defense, who would not be here next year and his name is not James Bradbury, who would it be? But here and could the Eagles actually do the unthinkable or is the unthinkable very very plausible and thinkable do you know what I'm saying or am I not making any sense who the hell knows all I gotta say is this the Eagles have so many different ways they could go this summer with their stars it may be time to do what nobody expects and let one of those guys go early and in camp now, we're going to get into it in a second, but before we do that, I got to talk about this. You know I got to talk about this. Uh, the Eagles will wear their Kelly Green uniform 2020, in 2024 per Philly Inquirer. The number of times and specific dates are still yet to be determined, says word on the birds. Now, this is not a surprise to me at all. This shouldn't be a surprise to anybody, but you had Darius Slay go on a podcast and he was talking about how he thought the Eagles weren't going to wear it this year and we probably wouldn't see it in years. Well, if that was the case, the Eagles would have to be really, really, really dumb because the truth of the matter is when you look at the stadium and you look at the Eagles stadium during games last year, it's 80% Kelly Green. Everything everybody is buying is mostly Kelly Green almost all the time. People love the Kelly Green in general. Now, you got your holdouts and you got your people that don't, and that's fine. That's their opinion. But most people love the Kelly Green. It pops, especially on high-definition TV, let me tell you. When I was growing up and we had our little box TVs, you didn't have those vibrant colors coming off the way they did on high-definition. When I put that Sunday night football game on last year and they had that Kelly Green on, it was like, wow, this is awesome looking. This looks great. And to me, obviously, I would love to see the Eagles do it full time. But uh, I can't see the Eagles making that big of a deal about Kelly Green last year and doing everything they did only to wear it one year and they get rid of it. It's probably, I bet you, you sell more Kelly Greens than regular jerseys. Uh, seriously, like, it's the all-time best-selling alternate jerseys in the history of the NFL. And uh, all I want to buy is Kelly Green. I look first and foremost for Kelly Green stuff. So I'm very happy that the Eagles are going to be wearing it again. It's very, very cool. And Darius Slay, he liked the jerseys, so he will be able to wear it if, if he's on the team. Now you say, what? Whoa, throwing stuff at me. Don't throw it. Don't throw it. Yes, I did say it. If he's still on the team. Could the Eagles do the unthinkable and let Darius Slay either get cut or traded during preseason? Could the Eagles actually do this? Now, this is just pure speculation. There are no reports coming out saying this is going to happen or not. But I was really thinking about it hard. Pause. No ditty. I was thinking about the Eagles and training camp. And I was thinking about what players could be out there on this team that would be a surprise cut. Who would be a surprise cut if the Eagles were to make it? And, you know, I really think that this roster is pretty much set already. I already think going into camp, we're already talking about the last four or five spots on this team. Other than that, I think it's pretty much set. However, when you look at all the positions and you look at the different players at each position, um, the, the secondary is by far the deepest. It has a lot of talent on it. It has young talent, guys like Ringo, guys like Isaiah Rogers, Dijin, Quignon Mitchell. They have a lot of talent that is very, very young. They also have an offense that should score 28 to 30 points a game. So when you look at where the Eagles could actually make a surprise and cut if you look at pretty much every position the only one i keep really coming back to 
is the cornerback position. I mean, let's let's say if the Eagles cut Paris Campbell uh, at training camp, would that really be that big of a surprise? I mean, really. Uh, to me, no. If you look at every position on the offense, you look at most of the positions on the defense, uh, there's not really many positions where I think the Eagles are going to make a surprise cut. I don't think, for example, they're going to cut um, Josh Sweat this year. I don't see that happening. I definitely don't think it's going to happen. So when you look at this team and you look at the possibilities of where they could actually cut somebody, uh, the only position that really makes any sense is the cornerback position. I don't think they would do it with safety. If you want to talk about linebackers, uh, I don't think they would cut N'Kobe Dean. Uh, N'Kobe Dean, uh, Devin White, those guys aren't going to get cut. They're too thin at the linebacking position to cut anybody. So when we look at this team and we say, all right, where could a surprise move come from? And that's what we're talking about. We're just talking about a surprise move. The only logical position is the cornerback position. Now, most people think that James Bradbury could be on his way out anyways, and I believe that to be true. I believe the thing with James Bradbury is that the Eagles were trying to build up his value by saying, look, he could play multiple positions in the secondary. He took snaps this summer uh, at the safety position, and then he wound up and he got hurt. Uh, they still, I think, would like to move on from him. However, you have such a crowded defensive back uh, field. Uh, the defensive back uh, is very, very crowded. The whole secondary, from the safeties to the corner. How are you going to keep all these guys? That's my question. How do you do it? And how do you get these young guys on the field? I truly believe that the Saquon Barkley move and bringing in Saquon Barkley wasn't just about helping your defense. It wasn't just to go out there and say, all right, now we got a running back. It was also to free up your defense to go get younger and to rebuild over the next few years because you have an offense that should be able to carry you. Now you want to sit there and say, well, the Eagles offense is 95% new. They may struggle early on. This, this may be true. It may be true, but they should still at some point, even struggling, they should still be able to put up enough points that they could carry their defense early in the year. So, to me, when you look at this team and you look at the guys like Ringo, Isaiah Rogers, don't you want these guys on the field? Don't you want these guys to play? I sure do. Uh, don't you want to see Quinion Mitchell get snaps and reps? I do. I'd rather these guys come out, play, make mistakes, learn. By the end of the year going into playoffs, they're much better. And then going into year two, they're really ready to take a big jump. Do you have that if you have Darius Slay and James Bradbury as your starting corners next year? Do you really? I, I mean, if the Eagles were to make a surprise cup, a giant surprise cut, a, a, a shocker, I think, would be to do something with Darius Slay, whether that's a trade or a cut. Now, I don't think it would be a cut, but possibility of a trade, I, I do think that's something the Eagles might think about. Uh, and it really would depend on what you're going to get. Uh, you know, Slay is making, what, he's $10.6 million against the cap. If you were to trade him, you would actually save $1.2 million. Now, you would have to eat about $9 million in dead money. We have seen the Eagles eat much more than that. So that, to me, wouldn't be a, a situation. That wouldn't be a big deal. What you would see and what would have to happen is you would have to have a team somewhere in the league, prefer preferably the AFC, get banged up, get hurt at corner, and then be willing to overpay you for Darius Slay to come in and go help them out. This would allow your young guys like Ringo to then play, Isaiah Rogers to then play. Now, I still want to get rid of Bradbury, so in that scenario, I would get rid of both those guys. Now, they might not want to do that because they might want to keep a veteran presence. Now, let, let me be clear and let me say this again. As I said earlier, I do not think this is going to happen. I do not think Darius Slay is on the bubble or on the way out. 
I'm just purely speculating that if you had a situation where you had to look at the starters on offense and defense and say, here is one guy that is on the bubble. This is well, Here is one guy where the Eagles could move away from. The only logical guy that I could come up with besides James Bradbury is Darius Slay, and that is because of the young the young guys on your at your defensive back. Uh, you have young guys that are very talented. Now, I think most likely what happens is James Bradbury gets cut or traded. Darius Slay is your veteran presence with those young guys. That's most likely what's going to happen. But we're not talking about what's most likely going to happen. We're talking and we're speculating what could be. Okay, And if there was one guy starting on whether on offense or defense that would likely get cut or tra- we'll say traded not be there by week one it's Darius Slay because one you're going to get a lot more for Darius Slay than you are James Bradbury and if you do it and play it right and somebody gets hurt on another team and a team needs a corner they may be willing to give you a decent return for Darius Slay then you play the Quinion Mitchells, you play the Isaiah Rogers, you play the Ringos, and you let those guys go to work. Let me tell you, if if those guys come out and are just decent, and it's even close to what you would get with Darius Slay, it's worth it. It's absolutely worth it. And I think it's worth the risk. This is why you got James Bradbury. I mean, not Bradbury. James Bradbury. This is why you got Saquon Barkley. This is why you got Barkley so that your offense could carry your team while you rebuild your defense with young players. So you've done that. Go out and start those young guys. Play those young guys. Let those young guys make mistakes. Let those young guys learn. Because in year two, they're going to take a giant jump. Now, like I said, I don't expect this to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. But if there was one player on this team that's a starter that I would say is going to be gone, uh, besides James Bradbury, it would be Darius Slay. That's where the surprise cut or trade would come from because of the young depth in the secondary. Uh, let me know your thoughts on it. If it's not Darius Slay and Bradbury, if, if, if it's not those guys, what starter do you think, if any, could get cut or traded or moved that would surprise us all. I would love to know. With that said, take care. Talk to you later. Of course, don't be a ding by remember. It's how we vision, baby. We're all just living in it. Right now, today, if I had to say one rookie player that starts this year, who is it? It's got to be Anaya Smith. I think he has the easiest path to start. And I actually think and believe, no doubt in my mind, that come uh, week one, week two, I think he's going to beat out Paris Campbell. It may take most of camp to do it. It may take a couple preseason games. But once he gets settled in, I think he beats out Paris Campbell. So if I had to say one starter who I think gets traded or is not here week one, I would say Darius Slay. One rookie that I say has the best chance to start or easiest path right now, I would say Anaya Smith. Denzel Washington, out. Oh, God. No. No. I want to be like the Eagles.